Well, I've often said in the past that Irish America has been absolutely critical to the peace process from the very beginning. Irish America had the ability to generate tremendous interest in Bill Clinton and his administration in the White House. And of course the decision to give Jerry Adams a visa against the advice of the British government and indeed the State Department uh, cl clearly showed the strength of Irish America and the influence that they had on uh, Bill Clinton, who himself made his own remarkable contribution along with Hillary to peace in Ireland. But of course the people behind all of that were people of the calibre of uh, Bill Flynn, Bruce Morrison, Neil O'Dowd, Chuck Feeney. Uh, and of course the friends of Sinn Féin have been absolutely tremendous. You know, people like uh, Larry Downs and Sean Downs, Joe Smith, Faye Devlin, you know, many, many others who have played, you know, le leading roles in supporting Sinn Féin's involvement in this peace process. So I think we've been absolutely critical and we will always be indebted to them for the contribution that they have made. And, you know, I, I think I can say without fear of contradiction, without that contribution, uh, the peace process would not be in the place where it is today. Well, I think Capitol Hill was of critical importance and the two lead players and Capitol Hill was crossed the divide between the Republican and the Democratic Party, where Richie Neal and Jim Walsh, two fantastic politicians who had a great love of Ireland and made a massive contribution to the peace process. They were able to influence their colleagues in the two main political parties and it was absolutely amazing uh, the work that they did. Their doors were always open to not just us in Sinn Féin, to all of the political parties. And they were, you know, tremendous and consistent right through, even to the very day, which is remarkable. So, so they, and indeed many others in Capitol Hill, played key roles. But it was led by Jim and by Richie Neal, who are great friends and people that we will always hold in very, very high regard. I, I often hear people talk about people who were key architects of the peace process and a lot of them I've never heard of. But I think that uh, if anybody can be described as part of that group of architects that built the peace process, uh, Richie Neal and Jim Moyes are certainly two of them.